Hello friends and welcome back to Kowalski Mountain. I'm Barbara Sue. So today we are going to do the very first garden tour of 2022. So it's January and today I'm just going to give you a tour and show you exactly where we are right now. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm also going to show you where we're going to be going for our spring garden. So come along and see the tour of the 2022 garden tour. quick overview of our space. Um, all of our area is fenced um, because of the chickens. And so we have a narrow little section here where we have the pineapples. And then we widen out into our section where we have uh, all the other plants. I'm going to measure this space out and give you a good description of exactly the square footage that we're gardening in. So right now I'm in the middle of the tomato patch and I think we have 12 or 13 paste tomatoes that we planted in the fall and they are doing great. They are just starting to get their fruit. We've got lots of flowers and we're starting to get lots of tomatoes. Um, we are expecting a frost this next week, so we'll be wrapping all this up to protect these plants because it would be a shame to lose the tomatoes now that they're starting to produce. But right now, the plants are doing amazing. Um, we've been trimming them, tying them up to support them, and we're starting to get a lot of fruit. I can't wait for the first harvest of these paste tomatoes. Now in this part of the garden, we have some more of the fall crops that we've planted. These are carrots that I've planted in here. I really don't think that they're doing that well. Um, if I dig down in there, I'm just not seeing any good growth. Um, not sure how they're gonna do. I might let them keep growing, but for now, those are the carrots. Now, these tomatoes are our volunteer tomatoes. I did not plant any of those. I just kind of let them go rogue, and they are really flourishing. You can see the beautiful blossoms. They've really got quite a few. Now, these are those little tiny bitty uh, tomatoes. They're smaller than um, a cherry tomato. They're very, very small. I'm trying to see one here for you. And I don't see one, but they're coming. There's a lot of fruit and they're doing really, really well. There's actually another one growing right here on the ground. Now right here is one of our pepper plants and this is from last season. They're starting to look a little bit rough but this one is actually producing really well. I've got a pepper here. I've got lots of pepper blossoms all over this plant. It's really really doing its best to shine. Now for the bad. This pepper plant is part of the bad. This is the other pepper plant um, from last season and it's been doing great. It's been producing fruit right up until this point but over the last few months it's really declined and it's really time for this plant to go to the compost pile. I'm gonna let this other one keep going since it's doing so well but this one, this one's lived out its life and it's time to let it go. Now I promised I was going to be showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is definitely the ugly. So this part of the garden has really just gone to weeds. Um, forgot what we even had planted in here last spring, but this whole area 
has just really been overgrown. Um, I am gonna reclaim this. I'm gonna be pulling all this out. And I think that one of the green stalks is going to go back here. We're getting two green stalks and I think one will go back here. I haven't quite decided on placement of the second one. I'm really gonna wait to kind of see space wise. Uh, one of the things I don't wanna do with the green stalks is that we have a narrow area and I don't want them to shade the plants that are behind them. So I wanna kind of place them so that that won't happen. So one's definitely gonna go here. The second one, I'm still deciding on where we're going to put it. But this is all gonna get cleaned up. I'm gonna put cardboard down and uh, protect this part of the area so that we can reclaim this. Right here on either side of me are part of the grapes. And we do have the archways that go over the top and they meet with opposing grapes on the other side and the the um, the varieties match on the other side. Now these plants are all dormant right now because it is winter and these plants are going to be headed to Kentucky where we're going to plant them in their permanent home this year. Now this little narrow part of the garden is where we have our pineapple plants. We have two now. One of them, if you remember, um, had some type of rot issue and the whole plant rotted. Um, so we lost one this last year, but we have two left. There's one here and one behind me. And I'm actually thinking I'm gonna take this fence down that separates the tomatoes and this area. Um, we actually added this section afterwards and I really wanna be able to go through and that way I can tend to the tomatoes and such on this side without squeezing through the rows. So that's the plan for this. I've considered putting a green stock in here. I don't really think there's enough room, so I don't think it's going to fit in here, but it is on the radar for that other green stock. So we'll see once we um, put them together to see how they're gonna fit. Now here's the final section of our garden. And these are some more volunteer tomatoes. And I picked these up, potted them up, and they hang here away from the chickens. And they're actually doing really well. These are my very first red tomatoes for the 2022 season. I'm so excited. These are those little bitty ones I was telling you about. Um, you can see they're only about the size of my pinky, but they're starting to get red and we can add them to salad soon. Well friends, I was just gonna show you our seed starts and I took off the covers and realized they are already growing. I just planted these last weekend and I've had them covered because I didn't expect anything to be growing yet. And so they are looking pretty lanky because they're looking for light. I've had them literally covered from the sunlight. So I've been a little overzealous and yes, I've planted all of this to go into our container garden. And I do still expect to plant some uh, direct sown seeds as well. So we're off to a great start for the container garden. So since my seedlings have already grown so much, uh, much more than I expected in just seven days, we went ahead and created a greenhouse out of a dog crate. So we wrapped the dog crate with this queen and the seed starting mats are all inside there. Keep the plants nice and warm. They're protected from the elements to give them a little bit of head start until it's time to plant in the garden. I was pretty excited with this DIY greenhouse idea for our small container garden. Well friends, there it is, the very first garden tour of the 2022 season, and I want you to consider this to be our measuring stick. This is where we are right now, it's where we're getting started, and I'm gonna bring you along for the journey as we continue to garden um, this spring. Thank you so much friends for being a part of the Kowalski Mountain family and subscribing to our channel. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell that you'd like to receive notifications of new videos on our channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.